Congratulations on downloading Power BI Desktop. You're about to head down a rabbit hole of data and insights, and we're here to guide you. From the Getting Started screen, just hit Get Data and choose the type of data source you want to connect to. There's a whole range of connectors, but I'm going to use CSV in this example. Navigate to the file that you're interested in, and you'll see a preview of the rows and columns that Power BI has detected in the file. Just click Load, and that data will start getting imported into Power BI Desktop. And from here, it's as simple as dragging and dropping to start building visuals. So I can see my sales by the different segments in my data, and I can see that our government segment is far outstripping anything else. Even simpler, I can use natural language to ask questions and get visuals as a result. Come to the ribbon and click the Ask a Question button, and then just start typing. What products had highest sales? I can see that my Paseo blue product was the highest, but there's something slightly wrong in my data. I don't need the color in here as well. I just want to see the product names. If I want to transform or wrangle my data as it's being imported, I can come to the ribbon here and click Edit Queries. This query editor gives me a whole range of different, different transformation options to let me split and move around my columns as I wish. I'm going to take my product column and split this column up by a delimiter. In this case, it's the space delimiter. And now I'll end up with two columns, one for product and one for color. Let's close and apply those changes. And you'll see now my product field shows me each of just the individual product names. If I wanted to see my color as well, I can add that and choose my sales, and I'll get a table. If I was to grab a geographic field like country and add my sales to this, Power BI knows that geographic fields need to be plotted on a map, and it will give you that for you. Lastly, let's take a look at our percentage satisfaction rating. A field like this needs to be marked as a percentage. If Power BI doesn't get it right, choose the formatting from the modeling ribbon, and you can even say, how do you want to summarize this column by default? Let's do an average percentage rather than trying to sum those up. And now if I drag this on as a chart, again, let's look at this by segment, I can see that actually it's my small business segment that's the most satisfied customers. So it's really simple to build visuals, but the great thing about this with Power BI is that these are all interactive and will cross-filter and cross-highlight each other whenever I click on any of these data points, both from uh, charts and even from the map. I can build really rich in, uh, reports that show me great insights and give me great in in I can build rich reports that give me insights into my data, and then it's really simple to publish and share these to other people inside of my organization or even outside my company using the Power BI service.